Wow. That's, um, honestly, it's easy for me because I think I've always been a go-getter. I've always been one to uh, create and make things happen. So, you know, in times like this, I think it's just a matter of, like I said before, using your mind and switching and being able to adapt to the situation. So uh, right now I have a podcast that I started. It's the One Mike Night Podcast. Please, everybody, join. Uh, it's on Spotify right now. It'll be on iTunes, hopefully by tonight, and iHeartRadio. And I talk to artists who have inspiring stories, and we get deep. Uh, episode two will be out on Friday, dealing with... Um, well, we can talk about that, too. I mean, it's dealing with um, a woman who's had number one hits across the world uh, in music, and now she's battling uh, the biggest battle of her life. She has cancer. And so we talk about how we deal with that. Wow. That's yeah. Deep. Very deep. Yeah. That's why every day you have to get up and be grateful. You know what I mean? Absolutely. If you you're not to. grateful, you never, you don't know because you never know what's going to happen. That's why I'm always walking in graciousness, I say, you know, and uh, that's how I, even if you make a mistake, it's still not that big of a deal. Right. Because there's not necessarily a wrong answer or a right answer. You know what I mean? You have to do what your heart uh, tells you to do, you know, and don't hurt anybody along the way. You know what I mean? Like walk in the path of the universe and, and all the things that are coming your way will come. You know, as exactly. long as you're doing it. Yeah. Yep. I, um, I tell you some of the things that are keeping me creative. I have my own company now and um, we build websites and um, I do little videos. You saw I put a little video. It's like a little iMovie I put up. And right. I do the flyers and stuff like that. So if anybody wants to contact me, you can. All the information is down below. And um, I'm so excited about doing this, you know, uh, segment of being creative because there's a lot of ways, you know, we, could, we can't see each other in person anymore. So I wanted this platform for people that are you know, creative, and they need to talk and get on, you know, they need to talk behind cameras. You have to get used to it. Absolutely. Who knows how long Corona is going to last for real, seriously. Absolutely. And you know, it's a, it's a new world order. And, and like you said, we don't know what's going to happen a month from now, a week from now. And I think that that also too, then spirals into, uh, you know, people's mindset. And there's a lot of anxiety that goes along with it. And I feel like the arts, is the balance that we have it's the thing that will bring us back to some sort of normalcy and being creative and you know doing things that you've never thought you could do before and experimenting and finding out wow man i can do that you know right what I mean? so you have to you have to allow yourself to explore all those avenues you know and, and we are connected through the arts so did you make up any kind of like a, a coronavirus dish or you got your favorite drink or? <laughs> Listen, I'm going to tell you, this is funny because um, once you <laughs> got to know that I, that I work part time in a restaurant. So I, you know, I bartend. But throughout this whole pandemic, I stopped drinking. And it was wow, to, make, to make sure that I was healthy, myself and the owner. Shout out to Cheryl's Global Soul here in Brooklyn. Um, you know, we, we both stopped just to make sure that we were healthy and alive and vibrant and, you know, ready to tackle the day because you don't know what's going to happen throughout this pandemic. So Absolutely. I was drinking a lot of ginger and tea and, you know, green tea and uh, turmeric and things like that just to stay healthy and stay focused. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I made up a tea of my own. It's, um, it's green tea, black tea, uh, uh, fresh oregano, uh, turmeric. And um, sometimes I put cinnamon in it. I make like my own concoction. Yeah, cinnamon's good for you. And, uh, cinnamon's definitely good. Yeah, and then I put it in, um, because, you know, it's just me here. So I put it in like a nice tray every night after I wash my dishes. I have it set up for me like when I was in Paris. <laughs> That's so good. I put it on a tray. I have my, little, a I have my little porcelain cup and you know, salsa, and then I have a tea kettle that's like perfect. I sit in in a certain spot so that this way when I, I enjoy the moment, you know? Absolutely. We have to, I mean, and then I hear the birds. I love birds, you know, a lot. Right. And hey, that's the other thing too is, you said, you know, enjoying the moment. This is a time when, you know, we, we have to understand what's important 
and we treat ourselves nice and you reconsider and you rethink the way you've been living and what you want to project into the future, you know, this is the time to do that. So I, I'm saying you have to treat yourself nice right now. You have to. Yeah, I'm always like that with myself. Yeah. I baby myself, but you know, it comes with having a lot of little fights too, you know, with different people too, you know? Right. Yeah. So sometimes you have